Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hi Man. So guys, I'm making this video for a friend of mine who had a lot of questions about this particular site and these products and she's like, hey, do you mind making a video and, and sharing with me the, the information on these? And so that's what I'm doing guys. So before I begin, I'm not making any medical claims. I'm not giving you any medical advice and I'm just giving you my opinion based on a lot of the stuff that I've been reading. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm not gonna go through every single one of these machines. I'll tell you right now that a lot of these I just personally wouldn't use. This is a cleaning product, so that's different. I'm just talking about hydrogen today. Um, this thing right here is garbage. I'm not going to, I don't even, I mean, I could talk about it, but, you know, a lot of these things have a lot of Chinese parts and Korean parts. Um, I would say, like, these are actually quite terrible. In fact, there's some people that are pretty upset about some of these. There's this whole article on the internet. I guess I can try to put a link to it. But basically, this company and the, and the people running it, they had a lot of issues. I remember reading about this product a long time ago when I was actually doing a lot of research on hydrogen, trying to find the best machine. That's all I cared about. I just wanted to find the best hydrogen for me, personally. And when I was looking at the science, because I mean, I've been researching this for well over a decade. When I was looking at the science, what these people were claiming just didn't make any sense to me. They were saying that this machine would never need maintenance, that it would last forever, and that it would never even need, like they, they would have a forever warranty. I mean, I guess right here, you know, like for example, that you won't find a better system, better quality. You know, basically it doesn't appear that that's the case. I mean, their, their stuff had a lot of issues. Um, they were saying that it would operate scale-free. That wasn't the case, I guess. Everything that I was reading about it, this is the one that really was a big red flag for me. They were claiming that they were gonna get three PPM, so three parts per million of hydrogen dissolved into the water. This stuff just directly electrolyzes water. And I'm like, there's no way they're gonna reach that number. I mean, I know the science of it. And I mean, in our atmospheric pressure, guys, you can only do 1.6 PPM. So all these things were big red flags for me. Eventually this article came out and it just showed that frustrated customers were only getting 0 0.5 PPM of hydrogen. So uh, what do they say? Another claim bites the dust. I mean. This is the reason I never even bought one of these machines. Um, they had a forever warranty. Um, you know, of course it's not. Uh, it looks like something happened. I don't know if they filed bankruptcy or whatever and nobody ever ended up getting their forever warranty. So uh, this article is obviously just saying, hey, don't, don't buy machines from such a company. But I was just looking at the science of it all and it definitely did not, did not look like a product that I was going to you know, use. So I ended up not going that route, but they're, they're still here. And if you look at a lot of these products, like I could just take one of these, for example, there's a lot of contradictory information that they have. I've heard a lot of rely, uh, uh, reliability issues with pressurized gas. That's what they're doing here. Who cares about the reliability? I mean, I'm more concerned about it. Well, of course I want something reliable. I think these machines used to be over $2,000. They're trying to unload them now for like 599 bucks. I don't know if they're just trying to get rid of them or what they're doing, but this would be a way that I would drink hydrogen water, pressurizing it like this. They're still using coated platinum. I'm not real fond of that. But, and it doesn't offer the nanotechnology that I would want with the whole nano bubbles. I wouldn't use personally, I mean, this is not what I would go out and purchase myself, but I'm just saying the way that it makes hydrogen water appears, in my opinion, to look safe. Um, but it's just not the system that I would choose. I mean, they're claiming here, I like that it doesn't change the pH. That's actually a good thing. You don't want uh to ionize the water directly and be changing your pH. Um, they say 0 0.8 to 1.2 ppm. I saw a different number somewhere else on their website, so they kind of contradict themselves, but these numbers sound right for such a device. Um, those numbers are okay. Um, you know, if I can get full saturation with nano bubbles, that's what I would like to do. I mean, the Japanese had a company that made the water like this, but they're not number one. The number one in the world is, well, you guys probably will know by seeing my videos. This is the one that I use uh, because it does the best nanotechnology they actually have a new model. I don't know if they put it here. Yeah, there it is, 21. Because I just saw that they, they've been selling the 21 for a little while, but they finally started advertising it. I just bought mine about a week ago, and they've improved upon their metal technology. They have a patented technology that nobody in the world has. This is the best in the world, and it offers the gas inhalation, the nanobubbles, uh, doesn't change the pH. I mean, this is the best there is. People in Japan know that, but in America, they don't. So they see a lot of these other products, and they just they just don't know. Uh, so this is not one that I would personally choose, but you know, I, I guess I, sh I was supposed to show you, oh, well, I just skipped it. It was something about the way that the metals that they use, um, again, not real fond of that particular one. Definitely not these guys, all these, all these directly electrolyzing water stuff, guys, very old technology. You run the risk of leaching metal, depending on again, who's making it. 
and all the metals they're using are very, very inferior. I mean, nobody even realizes how important it is just yet. Um, they are, I've brought more attention to it throughout the years, but the Japanese were way ahead of the game. And not only did they already have the best metal technology, they went and improved it again. And it's just off the charts and nobody can touch them. I wouldn't use either those either. These little portable ones, lots of problem with these. Directly electrolyzing the water, obviously inferior metal technology. Most likely based on science, it's going to leach the metal. The metals will degrade. A uh, lot of issues with reliability, as you saw from, well, from these guys. They, you know, they're, they're, because they, they call it fraud. I mean, I don't know if it's fraud. Uh, I mean, I guess they did make some claims that are, un you know, that you probably shouldn't have with the equipment that they had. Um, but I, but I just think that they have reliability issues. And that's one thing that I found in general with hydrogen machines. That's why, well, even with this one, the, with the hydrogen, the, the Lourdes Hydrofix, the Japanese went above and beyond to make them ridiculously reliable. So they had to beef up a lot of stuff I learned about that. Mine's been great, but I have videos on showing you what to watch out for, how to take care of them so that you won't have any issues. Um, it's one of my favorite videos. This one also appears to... Uh, be able to provide the hydrogen water without uh, directly electrolyzing it, which is a good thing. Uh, the only problem I foresee with this device, well, for 2500 it doesn't even offer the hydrogen gas inhalation as far as I can see. Um, it's good that it doesn't change the pH. That's a, that is a good thing. I don't see the nano bubble technology. That's something that's very important that people don't seem to think about enough. The levels are just a little too low in my opinion, especially for the price. And see, here's here's a contradiction right here. 1.0 to 1.5 and then over here they say 0 0.8 to 1.2 so again the information is always kind of odd it just it, i'm not really i don't think these guys are hydrogen experts let me just put it that way based on the information that i'm seeing i don't think i think they have some knowledge on hydrogen but they're missing a lot of information and i understand america's you know really far behind there's a lot to learn the japanese are on the forefront of all this, all of this stuff and their information is is actually accurate and that's what I've seen. I've contacted so many hydrogen companies and there's just so much that they don't seem to actually know. And that was one of my, you know, quote unquote issues when I was doing a lot of my research. Um, it's nice that they talk briefly about the, the metal here. I mean, let's see, here's it. See, platinum coated. I don't like stuff that is coated in platinum. That's basically the inferior technology and, and that's what a lot of people use uh, because a lot of the stuff, again, is either Chinese or Korean. And that's the kind of technology they use and that's just not... I want the best there is, so that's definitely not what I would, I, that's just not what I would use in my opinion, if you want the best and if you want to get the best results from hydrogen. So I kind of hope that this answered everybody's questions and uh, specifically my friend who really wanted to see this video, let me know, you know, you can email me later and let me know if this is the information you wanted me to supply with you uh, to you guys. Um, and that's it guys, so thanks for supporting the channel, uh, thanks for giving the video a, th a thumbs up. And thanks for subscribing and sharing. And that's it, guys. So I'll see you guys next time on the next one.